But what Lighton does, right? What Lighton is doing now is I'm skipping certain steps here. If, if you notice, hexadecimal to binary, I'm skipping certain steps because I'm assuming that you know how to convert from decimal to binary. Observe in this example that we're trying to go through here, where I was saying for us to convert 3E8, I'm saying the first thing we have to do is we convert each of these symbols into the equivalent decimal symbols. 3 is 3, is 14, 8 is 8, right? In the next step, I'm saying we convert 3 into base 2. Now, I am not going to repeatedly divide 3 by 2 here. Because we've gone through this already, I know that you know how to arrive at 1, 1. Arrive at 1, 1, 1, 0. Arrive at 1, 0, 0, 0. Either you repeatedly divide or you do what, uh, what Patrick was showcasing. You understand? So uh, don't be deceived by this. I'm just doing this because we've already covered the conversion from this part here. We covered this already. What we're doing here is we're converting base 10 to base 2. Right? Anyways, so... Um, uh, on with this example here, 3 E8, we're saying 3 is 3, E is 14, 8 is 8. And then we convert the decimal symbols, 3, 14, and 8 into the equivalent hexadecimal symbols. And then the key step, make sure that the answers are represented using 4-bit representation. If you have a result that has less than 4 bits, prepend or prefix them with zeros until you have 4, right? So as is the case of 1, 1. Instead of 1, 1, we have 0, 0, 1, 1. Now, now this is the interesting thing here about this answer is that... Um, if you have a situation like this where the last symbol that you are converting has less than four digits, it doesn't affect the answer per se. You can remove the two zeros, the, the, the leading zeros, right? Because it's the last, the, these are the most significant bits. Why? When you are multiplying these, you still get the same answer. You know? I don't know if I'm making sense, but, but, but uh, it, there's no harm in you saying your answer is going to be, is going to be 0011111010. Right? It doesn't matter, although it's more elegant if you represent it like this, right? You just do away with the zeros. Is, it, is this fine? Uh, sir. Oh, yes, sir. What is 11 divided by 3? I'm sorry? Um, what's it, what, what's uh, 11 divided by 3? 11 uh, divided by 3? Yes, because uh, 11 divided by 3 is indeed uh, 3 times remainder 2. Well, I don't know. I mean, I can I can divide here. Eleven divided by three is uh, is three. Then remainder two, right? Yeah, but but why why are you talking about why are you dividing eleven by three? Because um, the answer there, the answer you, yeah, the answer you've given there is uh, zero zero eleven one one for three divided by. Yeah, but, oh, but we're not yeah. dividing. What we're doing here is we're dividing this decimal symbol by two, right? So what we're saying is that uh, what we're saying is once we come, we are dividing the three by two, not eleven. There's no eleven here, by the way. This is one one. This oh, is not eleven. Right. This is eleven this two. So we're saying two into three is one. What's the remainder? The remainder is one. Two into one is zero. What's the remainder? One, right? And then the answer is one one, not eleven one one, right? Oh, right, 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 yeah. right, right. Okay, good stuff. Yeah. All right, uh, so... Sorry, I mean, just a so moment. Fun. Sorry? Just a moment. The, the slide you're from, you're from yeah. the previous slide. Uh, on, on your answer, why did you omit the two zeros for the first one? The this three. is what I'm saying. When you have the leading zeros, it's, it's, it's pointless to have the leading They don't affect your answer in any way. <laughs> right? All right, Yes. They don't. You can put them there, by the way, actually. You can put them there if you want to. It's, there's no harm in putting them there. But what, what I'm trying to say is that they, they don't affect your answer in any way. And in fact, your average application that you have out there, right? Observe, right? If you look at, um, if you look at, uh, if I change the representation of the registers, using, if I represent them using binary. Now, registers, these are the two-bit registers in MIPS, right? If I look at the value here, and I count the number of zeros here, what you'll notice is that, uh, I hope this is the one. If I count the number of, ooh, this won't work, I guess, but I don't know. Right? So these characters here are, they're not 32, right? How many are they? These are 31 characters. You know why we've left out, the, why QT stream leaves out zero? A zero, because it's, it's a leading zero. A leading zero doesn't affect the answer in any way. Right? So, so it's, it's like, um, 
It's like me asking you, right? Uh, or ask yourself this question. Are you going to get a different answer if you convert 111 to base two and if you convert 0111 to base two? The answer is no, right? And we can prove this, right? So we get here and we're going to convert uh, 111, 111, right? Let's convert this to, to decimal actually, It'll be a lot easier. We'll convert this to decimal and then we'll convert 0, 1, 1, 1. When, when the leading zeros do not affect your answer in any way. Do you understand this? So this is because, why? Anyway, because, uh, so this is two to power, uh, two to power zero. <clears throat> I hope dragging this will work. No, it doesn't. Two to power one, two to power two, <clears throat> right? What's the answer here? One, two, four. Come here, this is uh, two to power zero. <clears throat> two to power one, two to power two. <clears throat> Two to power three. How do we get the answer? One times one is one. Two times one times two is uh, is two. One times four is four. Zero times eight is zero. Right? Answer here is the same. Seven. Here it's going to be the same. Seven as well. You understand? But imagine yes, a situation. Sir. Yeah. But if you if you have these the numbers that that are supposed to be represented using two-bit representation, if they appear in the middle, they're going to mess up your answer. Why are they messing up the answer? Because it turns out, right, when you're dealing with binary numbers, the larger, the more bits you have representing a number, the higher the magnitude, right? So if I have one, 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 zero, one, one, um, and then I, maybe this was grouped using four-bit representation, uh, so zero, like this, right? If I have this number, and then, you see, if you look at this number, because of these ones that are here, this is a one's place, one's place, two's place, uh, four's place, eight's place, sixteen's place, and two's place. The, the number is significantly larger when you have more bits representing that number. But if you have zeros at the beginning, it doesn't affect your answer in any way, right? So if I were you, though, I mean, doing this right now, I, I do highly encourage you to, um, to uh, the answer, right? If you have two, if you have leading zeros, just put them there. You won't lose marks. If the answer is zero, zero, one, one, just, just put zero, zero, one, one instead of saying 11, right? Oh, so not 11, instead of saying one, one, right? It doesn't matter, it's the same, it's the same thing. But uh, your calculator, most of these tools won't allow you to actually have trailing zeros. Like if, you, if you look at what I'm doing here, I switched to binary. I have zero, right? I'm typing zero here and then one, one. I, I can't. I'm not typing zero because it's, it's pointless to type the uh, leading zero. Yes? Yes, sir. Thank you. Mm. Okay, great. Good stuff. Okay, so I'm looking at the time here. Uh, I guess we'll go through the rules. Uh, I was going to say 